Hello everybody! Well, this is All Souls Gaming and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Persona 5. In the previous episode, we continued our daily life, crafting tools and taking care of some business with a fortune teller. And then, at long last, made our way into Futaba's palace, where she first had us go into a, ta a town nearby to retrieve an item for her. Hmm. Rather odd that the shadow of the palace would be helping us, but hey, I ain't complaining. It's about time we started making our way inside, then. Hey! We're back. This is the thing you said they stole, right? Well done. It is yours now. Wait, what? Didn't you want us to get it back because it's important? That is a map of the tomb, stolen by the bandit to aid in ra his ransacking of this place. Oh. Why are you letting them just do whatever they want? This is your palace, isn't it? All that matters is that the map is now yours. Just come farther in and... Oh. What? What in the... Huh? Butabachan dis- God damn it! This is... is this... Quicksand! Everyone, swim with all your might! Funnily enough, that's not how quicksand works. Hey, you guys still alive? Ow. First a boulder, then this? Did we piss her off somehow? I don't think this has anything to do with us angering her. I suspect the problem is that she can't control her instinct to push people away from her. Hmm. A simple defense mechanism. Considering what she's been through, I don't blame her for mistrusting others. Yeah, me neither. Joker, let's save her. We've got to help Futaba-chan open the door to her heart. Of course. I have no objections, but we should worry about ourselves first and foremost. Let's go. Come on, let's look for a way back above ground. Otherwise, this place is going to end up our tomb, too. Yeah, Morgana has a point there. I don't much care for this little bit of the palace, mainly because it's a lot of up and down in order to get all of the treasure here. But hey, you never know. Show me your true form. What you're gonna find. Okay. Uh, I can never remember. There are two different snake enemies in this uh, area. One is Naga, one is Lamia. I can never tell the two apart. Oh, I can never tell which is which, but we're gonna find out. Okay, so this is the Naga. Now, it should be noted, you are going to want to do some grinding in Futaba's palace. Not for money or levels, but for crafting materials. Uh, for those of you who might not remember, we do have the ability to craft the, the, uh, craft the Eternal Lockpick. Which is going to need 20 aluminum sheets and 10 liquid mercury. Now, let's see. Da, 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 da. Come on. Let's see, the aluminum sheets... We can actually get from Anzu, and we're going to need 20 of those. The liquid mercury is going to come from somebody else that we don't quite have access to, but the Nagas can give us red phosphorus, which I believe we can use for reserve ammo, which wouldn't be a bad idea to make it. But first things first, as usual, we should try to recruit these guys. Let's see, they're gloomy, so we need to be vague. 
Lend me your power. Oh, well. Are you a human? If you are, then you should understand me, right? You. This is how you treat an enemy who's faltered after you've totally defeated them, right? But what if I ripped your body apart? What color blood would come pouring out? I never bleed or cry. Don't try to act so cool, brat. Do you think you're special? I'm aware you're a miner, but it would be lovely to leisurely talk over drinks. It's cliché, but we could chat about life, ask each other things like what kind of girls we like. Eh. What would be deliberately vague? I don't think older women would be. I like men? What? Really? Oh, that's a little surprising. Eh. I got a Zionga card, which I suppose is nice. But not, not what I was looking for. Anyways, the hardest part of grinding out the uh, items is not going to be the fact that that's random drop, but it's the liquid okay. mercury. And you'll find out why when we encounter the enemy that drops it. Let's see, sarcophagus bit. Alright, now we need to start climbing up, and as you can see, not all of the upper areas connect, so it's gonna be a bit of up and down. I could have handled that myself. Okay, nothing special from that fight, just a few sandmen. Okay, just a fight with Samanzu, nothing special, but we did get a new skill for Yusuke. Let's see, Bufula. That's medium ice damage. Time to replace that. Uh, replace Bufu with a nice upgrade. All right. That enemy was really weak. I have something. Unfortunately, we didn't get any aluminum sheets from them, which is unfortunate. Okay. Uh, should I drop down and try to make my way across there, or should I just go around and try to make my way down from the another side? Yeah, that's probably what I'm gonna do. Take care of one half, then take care of the other. Take caution. Easier than cleaning my brushes. Okay, just a couple of sandmen. It should be noted that the sandmen do drop iron sand, so if you need that for anything, well, you now have a readily available source of them. Okay, that's the way out, but we're obviously not going to go through that yet. Guys, we've still got the rest of this area to explore for treasure. Locked on. Huh. That was an easy battle. Okay, let's crawl across this way. Uh oh. Sorry about that. I had to sneeze. Treasure chest spotted. See a gale cape. That probably just gives me wind resistance. Where is it? There it is. No, evasion to win. Yeah. Kinda the same thing. Focus. Okay, this'll drop us down on this side, which we didn't get to explore earlier. But let's wait for that shadow to uh, look away. A decisive victory. Focus. Yeah, more Anzu. I feel like Anzu and Saman. Probably Naga, or Lamia, whichever one it is. Yeah. Naga are the only enemies down here, though we've only encountered one group of Naga. That enemy was really weak. something. Yeah, yeah, he was. But we need to fight them anyways because, well, we need the items that they drop. Show me your true form. Alright, encountered some Naga, got him knocked down, he's gloomy. Lend me your power. See, so understand me, yada yada. I'm not the one you should want to shoot. Anyone will do. Then find somebody else, because it doesn't have to be me, right? 
I feel like I understand you a little. I've run into all sorts of people in this job, so... The truth is, you're a good person, aren't you? Are you mocking me? What? You're not receptive to what I'm seeing, even when I'm complimenting you? Ugh. Should just be killing these guys for the aluminum sheets, but whatever. No, wait, the Anzu have the aluminum sheets. These guys have the red okay. phosphorus. Okay. Jump across here. Get that, and get a nice treasure chest. Ooh, Shashiki Sword. I doubt it's better than what I've currently got on Yusuke. Yeah, it's arguably worse. So, sorry. Focus. Hmm. Seems we've only got a little bit more to explore of this place. that myself yeah you probably could have especially considering that they're also weak to gun and we just got aggressive searcher Obtain 150 items from searchable objects in palaces nice Excellent. and a black rock and that should be wrong button everything except for that one little jump up spot but we really don't need to see that. There's no achievement for lighting up every single spot on the palace, so I'll see you guys back when we're at the other side where the door is. Okay, we're back. Decided to grab that spot anyway, seeing as how it was right next to where we were. But without further ado, let's get out of this zone. Hey, ain't that light the exit? I'm kind of surprised how close that ended up being. <sighs> Thank God we can finally get out of here. This was all around a horrible experience. I can feel it. But we do have to be careful because there are some new guards here. Show me your true form. And this right here is a Thoth. Unless we do some serious grinding, chance I would probably won't recruit him. But his weakness is Psy. Go down. No point in talking with him to recruit him, so yeah. But of course, that won't be enough. But this should be. All according to plan. Victory. Okay, there's gonna be a mid boss up ahead, but we can't challenge him yet. Hey. Hold on, there's something ahead. Hmm. Look how tranquil it is. It appears to be different from the shadows we've encountered prior. It's probably not a good idea to go up against such an opponent that has such an opponent without a clear escape route. We should retreat for now, Joker. Yeah, until you find a way out of this place, they won't let you fight this guy, so yeah. Okay, nothing special about that fight, just a bunch of sand men. Got some iron sand, but on got a new skill, Tentrafu. Medium chance to confuse all foes. Eh. Honestly, I don't find it all that useful. So I'm gonna pass on that one. Okay. A complete victory. Now let's keep going. Mind choker, huh? Uh, let's see, where is it? Oh, there it is. 
Let's see, plus 20 SP, a choker that strengthens the mind. Not bad, but I prefer regeneration. Here we have Lamia. Let's see. Calm down. They drop tanned leather, which we probably need somewhere else, but their weakness is ice, so. That's not it. Let's just smack a couple one of them around. I can do this, you know. Why not? Got it. Let's go. Okay, she is also gloomy, just like her Naga counterpart. Lend me your power. Let's see, talk things over. Um, can't you take a hint? I don't. I've been sending you serious, don't speak to me vibes. I don't. I didn't see any vibes. You get put like that offends me somehow. So you were in my presence and felt nothing? Let's see, heard that young people have poor communication skills. You, however, are talking to me right here. You're the exception to this rule. Eh, I'm not special. I intended to compliment you, but you're saying I was mistaken about you being exceptional. There we go. Finally, a recruitment gone right. Of course, we don't have any room for it, but I'm probably going to toss the Kakapa Tengu because, well, we don't need Temperance anymore. You've got a new mask, Joker. Ooh, and we've got some tan leather anyways. Also, negative pile. Skill card. Never heard of that one. Okay. Yeah, I figured that much, but it doesn't tell me what the skill does. Oh well. Anyways, head out this door. <sighs> we made it out. Damn, it's hot though. My ass is all sweaty. At least we have secured our escape route. We can finally go about exploring this place now. Let's use this as our entrance from here forward. It should be more stable than the front. For the foresee- well, for the semi-foreseeable future, yes. But now that we have our escape route, we can head down and take care of that mini-boss. Most of the enemies have respawned, except for those Lamia. Uh, let's see, was there anyone I really wanted to fight on this? No, not particularly, so let's just go for the boss. All right. Well, we got our way out. Now can we get that, kick that thing's ass? Here we go. Yes. Brace yourselves. This is definitely no normal enemy. Foolish grave robbers. You have enraged the guardian of this palace of this place. Hence, there shall be no path forward for you. It is time you perish. This guy Magaru. is going to be weak to wind. Let's see, Magaru, we got Garu. Here we are, Garula. You're mine. Obviously, that's not going to do a whole lot of damage to him, but the all-out attack should do plenty. There is something you need to be careful about with this guy. Trapped Rat. He can turn your characters into rats, which basically makes them useless. Unfortunately, he did it to Morgana. 
who is our only other wind user. Which sucks, but we still got Joker for this. But he can also summon enemies. Like a Lamia. It will eventually wear off, so don't worry too much. Anyways. Anyways, get her down, then get him down, then all out attack, which should take care of the Lamia. You should give up. Yay! He didn't get to shine very much during this fight, but he'll get a chance later on. Oh, and that bonus that you're seeing there, that's from the fortune-telling of finishing the fight with an all-out attack. Yes! Alright, we managed to scrape through that somehow. I wouldn't say scrape through. Hell, we pretty much annihilated him. Let's keep up and head for the treasure. The only damage he managed to do was hitting Morgana with a status ailment. We should make sure we don't get reckless, though. It's better to proceed one step at a time. Yeah, see? Still at max HP. Okay, nothing else. Let's just keep jumping upwards. I can feel it. Mm. Yeah, may as well head this way first. Okay. Got him knocked down. Let's try this again. Third time's the charm. See, he wasn't really trying this time, you know. Ah, it's a shame. If I'd taken this seriously from the start, I wouldn't be in this sorry state. I wasn't trying either. Oh yes, let's go with that then. It doesn't matter, so let's wrap this up quickly. Doing after this... You're not just pointing that at someone who isn't, doesn't actually do anything right, buffoon. You're doing nothing, too. Maybe it looks that way to you, but at least I'm contributing to society as an adult. Let's see, kindred There we go. Finally, got Naga. Ah, uh, who to get rid of? Who to get rid of? We may as well toss on Zoo. It's not like we don't have the money to re-recruit them. Countless masks. Obtain 30 personas through negotiation. Nice. Flash bomb. Medium physical damage to all foes, low chance of dizzy. Not bad. Good replacement for Varja Blast. Assuming they both do the same okay. amount of damage. I can see it. Okay, not much to. Re I stand corrected. Hey, that's a rare one. Don't let it escape. Okay, we've got the Stone of Scorn, which. Come on, load in. You need curse skills to take down. And it completely blocks physical. Persona. 
My hija, huh? And of course, we're going to recruit it first and foremost. Now, let's see. Ooh, this is going to be good. I can use it to get a better Sayo skill. Basically, this one is good for all your single target medium damage stuff. Huh, I might use this to try and get some better skills. Matter of fact, that would probably be the smart thing to do. Uh, I don't know, toss the Naga. You've got a new mask, Joker. But that can wait for the in-between moments of videos. All right. Well, Level sections up. of videos. Probably not going to be doing the strength one yet, at least not until I finish the uh, level. Or palace. Which means it probably won't be happening this episode. Right, head across this way. And push the button. Pu push the button. Hey, What's this thing? Some kind of button? Think before you go touching that, okay? It might be a trap, although I'm curious about it myself. Push the button. You're right. As they say, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Very well. <laughs> Holy crap, that scared the shit out of me. It totally was a trap. I'm not so sure about that. It looks like pressing that button has changed something in here. Yes, there's now a light being cast on that door. It is a markedly obvious difference. You're right. Let's go take a closer look. Now, well, first let's make sure we don't get caught by him. That enemy was really weak. Mm-hmm. Yes! Oh, hey, it's open! So, shining light upon the door is what caused it to unlock. Wait, doesn't that mean that we can open the door at the Great Stairs the same way? Well, that's a definite possibility. In any case, we should push on. Hey. There's something written here. Uh, um... Let me see. The light shed by the God of the Underworld shall become the sign for those who traverse the pits. What could this mean? Probably talking about the light here. Hmm. Could have sworn we had just a little less to go. Eh. So what if we go a little over? Nothing special, just an Isis whom we already have from, you know, fusing. And a Thoth. I can feel it. Focus. Okay, well, first things first, we're gonna wanna head in here before climbing upwards. Eh, it's holding something. Wait, what is this statue anyways? Some kind of dog thing? This is Anubis, the Egyptian god of the underworld. It seems to have some kind of shining orb. Mm. It sounds kind of familiar. Something about light from the god of the underworld? Joker. Hmm, this may come in handy somewhere. Shall we take it? Yeah, that sounds good. Indeed. Very well, this may prove to be an object of great import. Got the abyss gem. But if I'm right. Yep. Having the gem causes enemies to start spawning from the sarcophagi. Huh. That was an easy battle. Alright, nothing special about those fights to worry about. <clears throat> ah, dang it. Something in my throat. Anyways, like I was saying. 
<clears throat> Nothing special about those fights to worry about. That enemy was really weak. Okay then. That fight went on a little longer than it probably should have, but oh well. Now then, if we head in here, and I'm right, which I should be. Yep, another gem for us to grab. And we are going to need both of them for what's coming up. Huh, the statue's the same weird dog-looking thing as before. And look, it's got one of them gems, too. God's name is Anubis. It really isn't that hard to remember, Skull. So, do you think we should take this gem? Yep. Yes. Alright, let's grab it and continue onward. Yep, one more guy showing up. Well, that's that. Now let's hurry on. Okay, I should note that the uh, Isis can drop condenser lenses, which obviously you need for some things. Hey, hey is that? The door to the Great Stairs. That means we are directly above where we ended up coming, uh, ended up after coming through the front entrance. Yes, and all we need to do is place the gems on these pedestals. There's a cavity here. It looks like something might fit inside. It, maybe we should put that thing from the Anubis statue in there. Nothing seems to be happening. Calm down. From the looks of it, there's more than one pedestal. Same as cavity. Hey, weren't there two of those gem holding dog things? Let's try putting the other one in. Oh. Something's moving. All right. We got it. So, shining light upon it is what causes it to open. This is the same as the door underground. We can't rest on our laurels, though. Let's stay cautious and proceed forward. Agreed, but uh, first and foremost, we have most certainly surpassed the 30-minute mark for the first section of this video, so I'm going to cut the recording here, make sure that everything recorded properly, and I will hopefully see you guys in just a moment. Okay, we're back. Recording went fine. And I know I said I would take care of this after we've hit the end of the palace, but I've changed my mind and I've decided to go for the Neko Shoga now while I'm here. Uh, already summoned the Kodama. In order to make the Sudama, we're going to need to fuse a Neko Mata and a Mokoi. And then we're going to have to resummon an Anzu. Uh, I already got rid of my Fu Ki, and I got rid of the Belagor, because we're not going to need him. Or, sorry, Elagor. Sorry, I was thinking of Barith. This will get us the Sudama we need. So yes, it'll help. You'd like to inherit. Uh, I have no idea. It's Tarukaja, Aeha, and Mafrey. Its power will be. <laughs> I see. I I'm Sudama. I'll be your mask, man. I'm gonna stop sulking around or skulking around. Okay, then we resummon an Anzu, which should be Hero Font, if I recall correctly. Yep. A fee is required. Then accept this persona. Time for some rehabilitation. Can you gather them up? Then head for the advanced and get terrible, Neko Shogun. But not impressive. Choose the inherited skills, inmate. Uh. Now, for this one, we need to make absolutely certain that he inherits Dekaja. Which I'm not seeing here. That's not a good sign. Hmm.
Hold up, give me a minute while I look into something. Okay, I figured out what was wrong. Ah, uh, turns out you need Anzu to be level 28 in order for it to get... Uh, Dekaja, so I'm gonna get rid of the Kodama. Gonna summon a Stone of Scorn and hope that will be enough for it to get Dekaja. Justine, these are the paths you have walked. Regent, uh, there he is, Stone of Scorn. Is it a fee is required? Then accept this with such rudeness. Are you finished? Whoops. Too far. What are you waiting for? This is what the person. <laughs> this may be a bit gruesome. Come on, level twenty-eight. Level twenty-eight. I only only have times three, or er, rank three for hero font, but still. All right. Damn it. Well, this has been an arguable waste of time. Like, a serious waste of time. Ugh. Oh well, it is what it is. You change your mind? Justine, you have registration? You'd like to register this? Are you finished? Still, though, at least we know what we need, no and I know, don't get rid of Anzu. Hmm. You know what? I want to try something real quick. If it works out, you'll see it. If not, then oh well. Okay, then. Well, I've discovered a little bit of an exploit in the gallows. Apparently, if you de-summon a uh, persona, then re-summon it, you can power it up again at the uh, gallows once more. So we might actually still be able to get Neko Shogun. This is what the persona. Let these powers unite. I mean, technically, we could have gotten Neko Shogun earlier, but it wouldn't have fit for the strength confidant because he needed Dakaja. Just make sure that you, uh, register the Persona. Because otherwise you'll have lost it when you de-summon it. Uh, let's see. Now we need to grab Kodama, if I can remember where he is. Star, which would put him towards the end. And now... Can you we can create a Neko Shogun okay with, this? with Dekaja. See, so nullify stat buffs for all foes. Yeah, that seems useful. Uh, sharp student automatically lowers the chance of taking a critical hit. That doesn't really happen often enough that I feel like I need the skill. Null forget, maybe? Nah. Uh, let's toss some level 2 single target spells on there. A Galia would be good. Garula to make up for the... Uh, Fuki that I got rid of. Should I toss a nuclear fra Fraila? Hmm. Or should I go for something else? Having Lucky Punch might not be a bad idea, just to make up for those times when I need a critical hit but don't have Morgana. You know what? I'll take it. It will receive some new power. Having two people that can have a high chance of critical hit is actually going to be pretty useful for us going into here. Plus, Neko Shogun's resistances are going to be very useful against a particular foe. Then let us begin. I am Neko Shogun. Your future shines bright like a diamond. I am your mask now. Okay. 
Invigorate. Automatically recover 3 SP each turn in battle. I wonder if that stacks with our uh, SP adhesive. Eh, only one way to find out. You cheat. Are you finished? Yep. No Done here. Off. Well, that went better than I expected. Okay, now at long last, let's, let's, uh, let's head back into the palace and start making some progress. open. We seem to be pushing our way through the doors of her heart. I don't know if I'd praise it like that. Anyway, let's keep going. And we now have access to a safe room. A safe room might be close by. Might be is an understatement, Morgana. Oh, a new safe room. I expect this will be a great place from which to resume our infiltration. Well. How's our progress? God damn it, what's with her? She totally set us up in that trap. That doesn't necessarily mean she's hostile toward us. There might be a reason for her actions. Well, hopefully that becomes clearer the further we go. What are your thoughts? Anything else? How is everyone? Well... I have both stamina and energy to spare. I expect the same can be said for the others. Everyone still seems energetic. I think we can keep exploring if you're feeling up to it. What are your thoughts? Alright, nothing else to discuss. Let's get out of here. Let us be off. Alright, everybody at max HP, let me sure to that have be sure to equip my Neko Shogun. And now we just head across this way. Because there's no other direction for us to go. Did you notice? I'm sensing shadows. Lots of them. <sighs> That's to be expected. We're basically raiding her tomb after all. Well, we better be cautious as we go, you guys. So far, so good, and that leaves me concerned. Oh. Futapachan? So you've come. Follow me. Yeah, that is so obviously a trap. It's not even well hidden. What? For real? Holy shit! Is she trying to kill us or something? Wait, look, there's some light up above. There's another one of those reflective boards. Indeed. Yes, but unless we can do something about this trap, we will not be able to proceed. Ugh, what a pain in the ass. Yeah, yeah, it is a bit of a pain. But, with no other option, we gotta head up this way. Shadow spotted! We can get it. I'll reveal your true form. Oh boy, this is Anubis. And this guy is the one who we need to get our liquid mercury from. However, he has no weaknesses, and he nullifies blessed and cursed skills. Now, he does have blessed and cursed skills, so it's good that I have Neko Shogun. But the only way we're knocking him down is with Lucky Punch. There we go. Only way we're getting uh, liquid mercury out of him, I think, is by 
beating the hell out of him. He also has instant kill skills, so be careful with that. Thankfully, with Neko Shogun, we block Bless skills entirely and resist Curse skills, both of which he has. Come on. Damn it. Uh, we're going to need about ten... Well, hold up. We actually need a total of... Da, 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 two for Megiddo Bomb, ten for the Eternal Lockpick... Uh, anything else that requires liquid mercury? No, we, so we need a total of 12 liquid mercury. And he's the only enemy in the entire palace that drops it. Okay. So, yeah. Well, that's that. At the very least, he's relatively close to a... Uh, see it. Relatively close to an area you can use to farm. But still, bit of a pain. I could have handled that myself. Hmm. Ah, another one of those gemstones, eh? I can feel it. Yo, the statue's got a gem. We should take it, yeah? Uh, hold on, there's an inscription on this stone slab here. Any who attempts to steal this gem shall be cursed. Uh... Dude, we can't let this curse shit get to us, right? Come on, let's just take it. Let's not. Yeah, we really shouldn't. I mean, uh, not like I believe in curses or anything. Well, believe it or not, there is actually a curse that would hinder our progress and force us to come back here anyways to replace the gem. Because if we... Shadow identified. Awaiting Joker's orders. Because if we take it, then there's going to be a trap right around here, arrows shooting out constantly. Okay, within range. Should we strike? That will prevent us from moving forward. <laughs> Child's play. All right, got some good stuff out of that. Managed to get a uh, couple of aluminum sheets. That'll definitely help out. And another treasure demon. Well, unfortunately, it got away because I didn't have any curse skills, and Stone of Scorn is pretty much immune. Well, it's not pretty much. It is immune to everything else, so you can't even use a critical on it. Oh. Hey, it's a button. You want to try pressing a Joker? Yes, I do. That. Hmm. The ambience of that corridor has changed somehow. That might do it. Let's go and see if we can go after Futaba's shadow now. Oh, let's hurry, you guys. Now we can go ahead and grab the gemstone here. Come on, you want to take this thing? Yep. Rejection gem, huh? Yeah. Sweet, we got it. Let's go. Curse shall befall you. And just to prove to you that I wasn't just pulling that whole trap thing out of my ass. Damn it. See? Whoa. That was too close. It doesn't seem like this is gonna stop anytime soon. Maybe that curse is real after all? Oh, what the hell are we supposed to do, goddammit? Yeah, if you took the gemstone, you'd have to deal with that, which means you'd have to replace the gemstone, so yeah, just don't take it the first time around. That being said, you are going to need the gemstone, so grab it before you leave. I'd like to try this skill soon. Okay, just another Anubis fight. Unfortunately, didn't get any liquid mercury, but we did get a level up and skill for Yusuke. Automatically Suku Kaju Kaja at the start of battle. Which basically just means increased accuracy and invasion. Let's see, medium physical damage, medium physical damage, heavy... All foes, little chance to confuse. Yeah, may as well get rid of Vicious Strike, seeing as how 
Mind Slice is basically the same, but for three extra HP. Okay. A complete victory. Now let's keep going. Yes, let's. Now that we press the button up above, the trap should no longer activate. Bingo. Excellent. It's a treasure chest. Shadow defeated. Now let's push forward. That's that. Nothing to worry about there. Black robe. We're gonna definitely need those for making the best armor in the game. Uh, no point in climbing up that way. The pathway is blocked. So let's just head down this way. I can see it. All right, another sarcophagus bit, and another enemy. Ugh, really wishing I had that grappling hook from Royale to work with. Well, and the skill that comes with it. That was so easy, I'm yawning. Yeah, I probably would be too. It's somewhere. Okay, wait for the guy to walk away from this door before opening it. They were nothing. Indeed. All right, let's head into this room first. Focus. Hmm. Really, nothing. Strange. I mean, Focus. Ruby's nice. Just sworn there was going to be more in there, though. Oh well. Hmm. Head in through here. Climb up this way. Which in turn takes us around to here. Up there is a pedestal where we can place the gem. Treasure chest spotted. <sighs> That's all. Yeah, that was rather disappointing. Anyways, for our troubles, we get a spirit belt. Spirit belt. There it is. Reduce physical damage low. A belt that makes it easy to harness energy. Eh, would have figured it had something to do with SP. Hmm, it's another Anubis statue. There seems to be an inscription here as well. Let's see, any who attempts to steal this gem shall be cursed. Wait, it says the same thing? But this statue isn't actually holding a gem could be the meaning of this. Hold up. We got one with us. Want to try putting it in there? Place the gem. Hmm. The atmosphere has changed in some intangible way. Perhaps the curse has been lifted? Eh, that thing wasn't even holding the gem to start with. It ain't fair making us put one in. Don't matter if this, if this is a dog god or whatever. It just ain't fair. Anubis Ryuji. His name is Anubis. And he ain't a god of dogs. He's the god of the underworld, if I recall correctly from Egyptian mythology. Anyways, yes, we did indeed have to place the gemstone there. Because, uh, based on the pillars and the slat in the wall, I'd say a curse would probably befall us here. Now, whether or not we had to take and place it there, I can't be 100% sure, because I never bothered checking. You got it. But you never know. It's a button. Do you think it'll activate something else? I mean, that's what buttons tend to do. This is amazing. What was that noise? That must have been the ballista. It sounded like it was quite destructive. Okay, let's find out if anything happened. Oh, something definitely happened. And now we can climb up here. Let's see. Look, a treasure chest. Oh. Huh, it's locked. It needs a lockpick. We have five of those. Want to open it? Open the chest. Blitz ring, a snuff soul, and a turquoise. Nope, not persona. Equipment. Hmm. 
Blitzering. Reduce elect damage. Meh. Hmm. A reflective panel. But this one is different. There's some kind of control panel here. Should we try doing something with it? Sure. Is this some kind of picture? Odd. The design seems to be scrambled somehow. Uh, maybe it's kind of like a puzzle. Joker, can you change the picture? Yeah, yeah, we can. Yeah. Ooh, it's together. What's this a picture of? This adult seems to be reading something to a crying child. Hmm. The emotions of the artist are often depicted in the art they produce. I can sense... serious pain harbored in her heart. I should never have had Futaba. Hmm. Is that voice coming from the mural? She was always such a bother. It seems you caused your mother a great deal of trouble, Futaba-chan. She must have had some kind of maternity neurosis. was that? Based on its contents, it sounded almost like a suicide note. Could that be what Futaba remembers of her mother's suicide? And again. But that's a effing sick thing to say do to a kid. That's really how it all went down. It's what it went down, but based on what Boss told us, Fut uh, Wakaba oh, loved yes. her daughter. Like, more than anything. Getting close to the 30 minute mark, but I know that there's a, another safe room Indeed. just up ahead. We've opened the second door, but the mystery has only intensified. There's no doubt we're getting closer to the treasure. Come on, let's keep moving. Yep. Alright, just gonna get through the consultation, then we'll have hit the next 30 minute mark. Looks like we can use this place to rest. Okay then, let's get a grasp of our current situation. How's our progress? Hey. Feels like we've come pretty far. How much do you think we have left? Taking into account the distance we climbed the first time, I doubt we've even reached the midpoint. Unfortunately, I have to agree. What are your thoughts? Is there anything else you want to discuss? How is everyone? Well. Yep, what everything went still good. Shall we go? Okay, well, like I said, with that, we've reached the second 30-minute mark, so I'm going to cut the recording here, make sure everything recorded properly, and I will hopefully see you guys in just a moment. Okay, we're back. Recording went just fine. Uh, let me just double-check. Yeah, I did do a save. Oh. So like Yusuke says, let's get back to work, and let's get in here. Stone slab. When red and blue align, an illusion will rise. Only proper guidance shall form a path. Huh? What is it talking about? I haven't the slightest idea. It may be a hint of some kind. Yeah. A decisive victory. Indeed it was. Yeah, we shouldn't be having any problems with the enemies at this point. Anubis, maybe, if you don't have the proper persona to help you out. No point in going upwards. So we may as well go downwards. You're late. What took you so long? Ugh, that's it. I've had it up to here with her. And we have to, in fact, follow her. Even though this is quite obviously a trap. Wait. This shaking... 
Shoot, this is bad. Get back. I'm sick of this bullshit. What the hell is she thinking? Well, we kind of had to trigger that anyways, because uh, otherwise we couldn't get in here. Hmm. This seems to be the backside of that giant boulder trap. We should survey this place. Yes, yes, we should. Just be careful not to fall to your death. Look, a treasure chest. Why don't we crack it open? Magic ointment. So that's good for getting one reflection. Off of, uh, well, a magic attack. But first and foremost, let's head up here. And take care of the shadow before we do anything else. A stylish victory. And one where we finally got a bit of liquid mercury. But we're still a ways off from uh, getting everything we need. Because we are still going to need another 11 to get everything. At least if we want to go for the crafting achievement. Even if you don't want to go for that, still not a bad idea to get the eternal lockpick. Hey. There's a stone slab here too. Oh yeah, there was a stone slab earlier, but it's decided to get, take care of the shadow first. But there's nothing illegible inscribed on its surface. Sounds pretty useless to me. What do you want to do, Joker? Let's take a closer look. Ooh, it's shining. Hmm. The device is controlling the mural seems to react to it in a similar fashion. Hey, look at this! <sighs> Something showed up. It says B01010. That may be a clue of some sort. Either way, we should search to see if anything has changed. So, for those of you who might not know, that is basically binary. Zeros mean off, ones mean on. What the? And as you can see, that first orb is blue. So this thing's the link. So this thing's link to the stone slab is what powers it. Indeed. Quite the impressive contraption. Why don't we examine it closer? Well, not like we got much of a choice in the matter. Hey. Seems the hologram's coming from this coffin. Should we try fiddling with the control panel? Yes. Whoa. Oh, it turned off. Try touching it again, Joker. so it's possible to turn it back on as well. It looks like we should be able to turn the holograms on or off by accessing each control panel. Do you think it's this is related to that code from earlier? So, the B represents this one, which we cannot change. Zero means that we need to turn the hologram off. One means that we need to leave it on. So, B, zero, one, zero, One, zero. Hey. Huh, the slab over here is shining too. Was it not doing that earlier? This is the same color as the one from further in. There must be some meaning to all of this. Press the button. And that unlocks the door. Yes. Ah, the door opened. I suppose this is the first step in the process. The next device must be beyond this point. <sighs> By the way, what's up with these things? Are they all because of Futabachan's mental state? It's hard to say. But it does prove that she might not be as simple a target as... Sorry about that, had to sneeze. Uh, does prove that she might not be as simple a target as we were hoping she'd be. And the initial boulder trap didn't tell you that already? I wonder about the meaning behind that stone slab as well. Wait. Hey, our path's open now. Can't we just keep going? 
Yeah, Ryuji's right. No sense in standing around talking. May as well keep walking. I can see it. Right, trap over there. We're gonna have to go around the long way if we want to get past. Come on, a little closer. I felt the difference in strength in that fight. Alright, nothing special from either of those fights. Got some thick parchment from one of them, but beyond that, meh. Joker! A treasure chest! Stamina sash. Probably something for health. If I'm right. Uh, yep, plus 20 HP. And in here, we have another stone slab and just one thing we can steal from. Eh, no biggie. Hey. Look, there's a stone slab here, too. Touching this one will probably activate it, too. What do you want to do, Joker? Let's touch it. Ooh, it lit up now, just like we were expecting. There are red inscriptions on there this time. They say R01100 and B10011. Hmm. This code is similar to the prior one. These would surely be hints for those buttons. To be honest, it somewhat reminds me of binary. It makes sense given Futaba-chan's ha hacker background. Well then, let's go see if anything has changed. Alright, let me just look over that one more time. Let's see, yep, just two of them and then three of them. Okay. And yeah, they're right. That is absolutely a hint for how to take care of the buttons in the room. Now, something I didn't show off. Aha, look. Something changed to the room, just like we expected. There should be some connection between that and the code that appeared on the stone slab. And something I didn't show off, but you can take a look at the uh, stone slab here. Just in case, so you don't have to run all the way back. Now, let's see, R0, which means we should turn this one off. Then these two remain on, and this one, or these last two, get turned off. Then we just have to go in the opposite direction for the others. Which basically means we're just turning off the ones that we didn't, or that we left on for the others. That should do it. Oh. Whoa, what's going on? This is a stronger reaction than anything up to this point. Guys, look! Are those giant boulders rolling down the corridor? Come on, man. Dude, they ain't stopping. Is this gonna be okay? Push it again. That only made it worse. To do something about this, Joker. Did it stop? Don't tell me. Is this what the slab could have meant by form a path? Yeah, only one way to find out. Now we unfortunately. It can't go back the same way we came in as it has collapsed. We can, however. Whoa. God damn, talk about a mess. It's broken. Well, I guess it would be a little more precise to say we broke it. Hey. We can't get through like this. What are we going to do? 
Perhaps we could walk over the giant boulders. Let's try it. Well, can't be any worse than just standing around. I mean, I guess that's one way to get across, but... Yeesh. Can't, I can't help but feel that there were better ways to go about that. Oh well. Doesn't matter now. Another one of these panels, and probably going to give us another glance into Butaba's past. This is... The same mechanism as the one we saw before. Then we just gotta touch it and make something happen, yeah? Come on, let's try it out. Oh, hey, it came on. This one's kinda hard to tell, though. Must be scramble as well. Let's use the controls to put it back together. Yep, we now have to start rotating stuff. There we go. Seems it is complete. Is she jumping in front of a car? Could this be the moment when Funtaba's mother committed suicide? Oh. Hmm? Another voice. F Futaba! Y you are. died right in front of Butaba's eyes. That's horrible. So, did her desire to forget those memories cause her to repress them? Yeah, that seems to be the obvious point. Well, nothing left to do but to keep climbing. Alright, it opened. That was a breeze. We're pretty far in now, right? This has to be past halfway. Yeah, the treasure is definitely close. You better be excited. And one more safe room just up ahead. How's our progress? Hey. Feels like we've come pretty far. I think we should reach the deepest part soon enough. Wait, if we're climbing the stairs, does that make it the highest part? Eh, either way, the treasure is getting close. I just hope there's not much left. Hmm. I absolutely agree. What are your thoughts? Is there anything else you want to discuss? How is everyone? Well. What are your thoughts? Yeah, you can just see how big a difference having SP adhesive 3 on your entire party would help out in exploring palaces Shall in one go? run. Even when you get to the higher level stuff, it still helps. Alright, let's Come get on. back out there. The treasure awaits. I know that this is the last chamber, but I don't think we're going to be able to get through it in its entirety in this episode, or in what's left of this episode. I know for a fact that there is a safe room up ahead. Wow. What a wonderful form. Seeing such divine sculptures in person is exceedingly rare. Yeah, I guess you probably wouldn't be seeing anything like this shit if we weren't in a palace. 
seriously, this almost feels like a trip abroad or something. Hey, now's not the time to be letting your guard down. I can sense lots of shadows up ahead. Yeah, Morgana's not wrong in that regard. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna keep going until we hit that next safe room. But then I'm probably gonna end it there. Ooh, and a locked treasure chest over there. Dog watch kimono, black rock, and a turquoise. Uh, hmm. She already has a dog watch kimono. I suppose I could give it to On at the very least. Thankfully, these guys' line of sight don't go beyond a gap in the floor. Okay, nothing new from that fight, but we did get Swift Strike. Which, I will tell you this right now, uh, <laughs> gets a serious downgrade in Royale. But it's still good here. Windbreak. Okay, wind resistance to all foes. Eh. Honestly, I never really use any of this, any of the break stuff. Or the wall stuff. Okay. It's just not that useful to me compared to other That's stuff. Okay, then. Ooh, I'm actually starting to doubt whether or not I can get to the uh, safe room soon enough. Oh, well. I can't jump up that way, so we're gonna have to go... Nope. Oh, there we are. Hole in the ground. Er, hole in the wall. That was an easy win. Let's go, Joker. Joker... There's a treasure chest. Yeah, there's also a trap. Uh, I believe the room down below has a means of disabling it. But let's get this Show guy first. I felt the difference in strength in that fight. Indeed. Seems even Anubis is no match for us. So long as we keep getting lucky with critical hits. Child's play. Indeed. Anyways, with this button, we should be able to disarm the trap blocking the treasure chest. Let's see. What's down this way? I have something. Eh, could have a gemstone in it. It did. And we can't go across this way, if I recall correctly. No? Huh. Could have sworn one, one of those corridors was meant to collapse. Meh. Now, let's see. We could go up and over, or we could crawl through here. I believe we actually do have to in order to take care of this. Unless there's supposed to be something in here. Oh well, get that opened up, which... No? Hmm. Not sure what the point is of just crawling through there. I can feel it. Because you could just as easily head this way. Ah, no, wait thinking of a later point at which we could just go around this way. Push it. it seems... So there was a passage hidden behind the wall. I wonder if there's a way back there. 
because uh, later there's supposed to be a pathway around this way that you can use, but that's more for backtracking should you need it. Well, Neko Shogun got a new skill. Cornered Fang. Medium physical damage to one foe. Powers up when surrounded. Meh. Pass. Not all that useful to me. They were nothing. If I end up getting trapped or surrounded by enemies, it's because something went horribly wrong. Easier than cleaning my brushes. Yeah, you can say that again. Actually, no, Yusuke, if you ever said that, he would... That's how he literally okay. would say it again. This is strange. Hmm. This coffin has a different design than the others. Does it might not make you wonder why? That is odd. Why don't we check it out? Bingo. Whoa. I can't believe you saw through that trick. Push the button. What was that? I just heard something. And if we go back into this room, we have another button to push. Hey. Hey. Which gets us a gemstone that we're probably going to need. Ah, oh. uh, it is that Anubis statue. I wonder if we are supposed to use this radiant gem somewhere. More than likely. Come on, let's just take it with us. We can figure out how to use it later. Hey! Sweet, we got it. Let's go. But of course, there's a trap. A decisive victory. Indeed. All right, gemstone in hand. Let's keep on moving. Let's see. How much further do we gotta go? Yeah, still got a bit before we hit that safe room. A complete victory. Now let's keep going. Ooh, wait, there was probably something down there I could steal. Okay. Okay, we defeated them. All right, managed to get some more liquid mercury out of that fight. Always good. Looks like this thing uh, before. Hey, I've seen this thing before. It looks like we put those gems from the dog statues earlier. Oh, wait, don't we have a gem now? We should try putting it in here. And that gets us a nice pathway to work with. Immense power. This pathway of light is quite impressive. It seems we will be able to pass over it. It's not going to disappear while we're crossing it, right? This is a little scary. Don't worry, we'll be fine. But yeah, this is what I was talking about. It's not quite the pathway we need in order to keep moving forward to get to the... Well, in order to get up there, which is glitching out. Okay. But it is something that's going to be useful for us. than cleaning my brushes. Okay, took care of both of those fights. Gonna unlock this chest. Oh. Retention vest, turquoise, and ruby. I'm pretty sure we already have a retention vest equipped. Yep. Okay, there's that. Can't get to that upper area yet. So, we gotta go down through here. And this, this feeling. There might be a safe room around here. Is our safe room. This looks usable. Let's take a break, Joker. And this is one of the well, it's the only uh 
safe room that isn't on the main stairway, not including the entrance, which technically isn't a safe room. Well, how's our progress? You got it. Not much further now. I'm getting a strong signal from the treasure. So the formative art of this palace is coming to an end. I feel someone relu somewhat reluctant to leave it. But we gotta make this palace disappear for Futaba's sake. Indeed. That is true. Though it is worth noting, those who endure hardship tend to produce beautiful art. You know, Fox and Futaba-chan might be more alike than we think. What are your thoughts? Anything else? How is everyone? Well... What yep, are your everyone is fine. Let's go! Okay, well, I think with that, I'm going to end this video off here for today. A couple minutes early, I know, but... We weren't going to make much more progress without it becoming a much longer video. Uh, so, if you guys like what you see, please leave a like, subscribe for future content, don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications for when I upload, or to hit the straw polling to vote for our next Let's Play, of which your options are Prey 2017, Shadowrun Hong Kong Extended Edition, Dragon Age Origins Awakening, and Yakuza 0. And please, leave a comment down below this video. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching.